What is it now? Punish him. Leaving your phone behind is disobeying. Punish him. Do it. Is this a guy? Oh, this is the guy who left the phone behind. You want me to kill this man for not playing the game? Based on an episode from Black Mirror. Season 3, Episode 3. Shut up and dance. You find yourself on a train late night. There's but one other person in it. He's nervous, often checking his phone. He got off, but forgot his phone. It's buzzing. There's a new message. Alright, so we're checking out a new message, oddly enough. And introduction basically took care of everything I needed to tell you about this game, so it is based off of Black Mirror, which I thoroughly love. And Shut Up and Dance is actually one of my top episodes, definitely, for a fact. It's even got the boy from Game of Thrones, too. So, let's um, bring this up. This is the phone that we found here. Package is in Oscar Street. We'll be watching... Dorothy Square Metro. Now, mind you, this is the phone that we picked up from, apparently, some boy who was here. This is done, I think I read it's done like in PS1 type, you know, graphical style, so it's gonna be very, very pixelated. But, um, I've seen a lot of, like, horror games recently take to this effect. Not that this is a horror game, I don't think. It's supposed to be mostly just, like, you know, screw with your mind quite a bit. But, um, a lot of, like, um, games I've seen recently like, three horror games have been, like, this really, you know, nostalgic, pixel, PS1 style. Um, by the way, this is a free game, so all the information will be down below, because you want to check it out for yourselves. Not sure how long this goes for, but, um, we'll check it out for a bit. Obviously, the Black Mirror thing was what drew me to it itself. Um, there is a dude here. Not sure if you're dead, if you're human. You might be an alien, you might be a mannequin, you might just be a home- Oh, you're- you're- okay. you're- you're alive, I hope. Homeless zoo, just taking a nap over here, it's fine. I've played Hobo Tough Life before, I know what's up. Well... Packages in Oscar Street will be watching. Oscar Street, okay. So this is the- the street itself. Well, I'm supposed to be looking for a package, apparently. Excuse me? Hello? Oh, that's a shadow there, too. Okay, yeah, I saw the red thing, and I thought it looked like a couple of pair of eyes, but with the pixel look, you can't tell. No, there's a shadow right here, boy. Where are you going? Not sure if you got, like, a really pointy head or you're wearing a hood. But it's even trippier if you're wearing a hood and you got, like, you know, red eyes. Where's this package? It's gotta be yours somehow, though, right? Oh, okay. It's in the garbage can. How do I pick it up? I guess just right mouse. It's got a re really interesting, like, interactive system. You gotta, like, hold right mouse and it zooms in and... What? Um, good. Place it under the park bench. Alright. Sure. Guess I'm bringing it over to the homeless man. But it's got, like, a really weird, um, interacting system where you gotta, like, zoom on in. I suppose just, like, hitting E or, like, I don't know, even left mouse button. Would have been nicer. Apparently there's a key here, which I guess you probably want me to take. Um, did you murder this um, poor homeless man? Okay, I, I placed it. <laughs> Good boy. Head over to the warehouse in Cassowary Street. Well, um, Hobo Alleyways Key. Normally a really terrible idea to follow the blood trail, but sometimes it's really into the actual story, so is this the warehouse in Cassowary Street? Okay. No. Apparently not. So you're just here to intimidate me. You, you killed this poor hobo just to intimidate me, is that what it is? Like, if I don't play your, your game, this is what happens? Two hours later. Alright, so I guess we could all probably see I'm not a, the most observant man out there. I'm a very, very dumb man sometimes. I kind of wandered the entire area for a while looking for this castle where he's street and then couldn't find it. Couldn't find it whatsoever. But then it just dawned on me. Um, you got a key, right? 
And had I probably been more observant of Mr. Red Eyes right here, Black Dragon, I would have found out this apparently was a door that was locked. I'm not sure if those red glimmering things over their eyes again, because that's what I've, so far, is what I've been kind of taught to. Hi, ah, Chisel! No, 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 you, you, crank that soldier, but you were part of the freaking wall. You were like a, a dormant of some kind. I thought that was like, you know, like some sort of like little nice statue or something. This dude just crawled up the freaking walls. Okay, I don't think you're dealing with humans anymore. Oh, you see now the red eye of black dragons are back. What's up? Is this where you want me to go? I can't go there. It's an invisible wall, as a matter of fact. Bicycle. Well, it slides up here. Oh, we got a stairwell. All right, we'll just follow this here momentarily. Keep an eye out for the albino nightcrawler, apparently. Kazuwari Street. Okay, so at least we're on the proper path. And that makes me a very happy boy. A semi. <coughs> Bro, I was just barely through the door, dude. What is it now? Punish him. <coughs> Leaving your phone behind is disobeying. Punish him. Do it. Is this a guy? Oh, this is the guy who left the phone behind. You want me to kill this man for not playing the game? Is there like something that happens if I don't, um, you know, decide to pew pew him? I, I'll take that as a firm no. All right. Sorry, my dude. I try to go against the grain to see if there was an alternate type of ending here. <laughs> well, I just killed that man. And, uh, I don't know where I'm at now. <laughs> no idea where I'm at now. He's always so freaking dark, too. Like This game could be really, really dark. The atmosphere, the music is really, not really music, but just the sound effects, atmosphere, and build up in the background is actually really, really good. Not too crazy about this, the graphics, though. Like, hey, I did. I did grow up with these type of graphics, but, you know, the past must stay in the past, you know what I'm saying? My dude, you fell from very, very far up above. And you kind of looked one of the dudes, the, the androids from Alien. Okay, um, there is a key here. A maintenance elevator key. And of course he had a phone as well. Do I get a... I get a phone? There's no messages on my phone. What is that? That's kind of weird. Oh, is that a... What is that up there? Oh, it's red eyes, of course, it would... There's plenty of red eyes. One, two, oh yeah. Okay, so yeah, no surprise as to why this dude took a dive over here. Not sure that was his own volition though, or he's trying to get away from those guys. All right, we'll just pop this elevator key here. Oh, it's kind of weird, like my, my, my phone doesn't have any messages. So like, it's just kind of really weird. We went from the area where you shot that guy and suddenly we're here. Like it just, I don't know. Makes me wonder who the hell we are now. Are we the same person or not? Because I imagine the messages still would be there. Oh, I see red eyes again, too. Yeah, I see you, buddy. Ha! It's that freaking albino nightcrawler. He keeps doing it. I don't think I want to step outside over here with this madman running around. Okay, that was just you closing. That's fine. Don't freak out. It's fine. It's just... Closing behind you, that's what elevators do. 
Oh, I just went up. Oh, I just went up. This is where the red-eyed dudes were at. And homeboy took a dive from. Yo, yo, I ain't, I ain't jumping, right? I'm hugging this wall right here. What the hell am I even looking for, though? Huh? No, no, no. See, I'm trying to zoom in and see what's down there, but I'm, I'm worried that it's going to also... Because the right mouse button zooms in, but it also interacts. I don't want you jumping, boy. But I do want to see... I. Do you see the body down there anymore? Huh. Well, red eyes are gone. Oh, no. Okay, that was weird. Did you see that? A little, it's doing it again. It's like the screen's vertically... Wrote... EFB? What's EFB? No. No, I don't want to jump. No, I don't want to do it. Okay, lights are red now. Now, you know what? Oh, the button's gone. You mad? Ah. What the hell does EFB mean? What's EFB? EFB? Oh. 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 Oh, I can't see ya! They can't see us in here? Look closely next time? What, what the hell just happened? They can't see us, Nick, this... They can't see us here? Look closely next time? I don't understand. That's the elevator shaft. Did I jump? Am I the guy who originally jumped? Was I looking at myself jump from... The future? Somehow? Did I time jump? I'm a very confused boy right now. I guess I'll just walk into the light. We all know what that means. It means the game's over. And it was made in 15 days for the 2019 TV Game Jam. Well, any theories? By all means, let me know what you guys think this all means. Intriguing. Information will be down below in case you want to follow it up, pick it up for yourselves. Free game, as I mentioned. Not sure there's like alternate endings. I guess I could have gone towards the end and try to jump. I don't know. I felt like I still jump or I just warp down there. Who knows what happened? Who knows? Either way, fairly, fairly good, especially for a free game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.